YouTube. So today I am repotting my ZZ plant. This baby over here. Now I know all of you guys are like, well your ZZ don't need to be repotted. So problem is that I am a overwater and over lover of my plants. And you know ZZs don't allow that. You don't only need to water it once a month. But even when I water it once a month, for some reason, I guess the soil doesn't get enough drainage. So a couple of the leaves tend to turn yellow. And I figured that if I repot it in this new soil, um, this new soil consists of coca core, pumice, orchid bark, activated charcoal, and worm castings. So I'm going to just basically remove the old dirt and put in new dirt and pray that the next time I water it I get nothing yellow. I do have new leaves that do come in. Um, they're just not as you know full and big so could be doing a lot of things wrong. We'll see. Ignore my shoes. These are my house slippers. So we're going to take the old dirt and just turn it over. Pray for me. I'm like really hoping that the roots aren't everywhere. come out it's like right here oh there we go let's let's dump that <gasps> oh there we go we got it out okay so this is the pot this little hole right here was stuffed up with dirt so I'm pretty sure that that's why I wasn't getting any drainage in here but now it's time to take some of this old dirt out I do see some roots like a little on the outside and some over here but I don't believe that this plant is that full that um, I'm gonna have a problem with just putting it back in its own pot so that's what we're doing and this is just look at this how it, oh sorry <laughs> how it breaks up it's just it's like mounds of dirt no wonder it's been having problems mm. my um pot mixture of uh, soil mixture is a combination of a couple of YouTubers that I watch. The main one is Planetarian. I think her name is Amanda. I'm pretty sure her name is Amanda. And for me, she gave a great example of the Bex potting mixture that you can put your plants in. Now, she didn't talk about the orchid bark, I think I got the orchid bark from somewhere else. I really don't know where or who said it. I just, I guess I just watched too many YouTube videos and can't remember where that came from. But everything else that I said um, came out of her um, soil mixture video. Everything else, including the activated charcoal.
Now, <laughs> the only worry is after all of this, will this baby bounce back? That is the worry. Because at this point, I have removed all of the dirt. Yep. If you ever want to split propagate it, you just remove one of these little tumbers here. This bad boy. I have too many ZZ plants, so I'm good on that. So good on that. But this is the, the first time I'm doing this and all the dirt is gone. That's interesting. There is a very high chance <laughs> it will not bounce back. But pray. Pray that it bounce back. Okay, so now I'm going to take my new dirt. So pretty. Just pile it on up in here. And then kind of, yeah, put that on top of it. That, that looks right. And then just pile it on top. I put as much drainage um, mixture as I possibly could in it without compromising um, the soil. I feel like I'm worried that there wasn't enough soil. So basically, I just try to um, do a 60-40 as far as drainage and soil and see what happens. I'm kind of happy I get to cover up this little broken pieces. Oh yeah, some, some leaves did uh, die on me. But I got new leaves coming, so that's the good thing. Okay. We're almost full. So maybe the one thing that I won't do is pack it down. Um, I'll just try and make sure there's still aeration in it. If you're wondering about this pot, I took it from my roomie. He was going to donate it or throw it away. So I was like, oh, I can use it to do my mixtures. So yeah, um, this is the final product. Again, I shouldn't be packing it down. I'm not going to pack it down. I'm just going to make sure that it's breathable. And that's it guys new dirt for the ZZ plant let's pray that it lives because you just saw what I did and I'm probably gonna kill it <laughs> thanks for watching